Hello, welcome to Chris's Crafts. I'm Chris. Anyway, you're probably wondering why I have a box here. Well, it's just an ordinary box. You can do a lot of things with it, with a box. So we're gonna start with this first. So, um, But everybody's probably getting ready for uh, Father's Day. I don't have to worry about that at the present moment. Well, right now, because my father has passed and um, my better half's um, father has passed. I guess scissors would be good on this. So I, I have no per se Father's Day cards to make, but I need to make cards for my better half. Well, I'll do that in another video. I just figured to do this because I'm in the mood to do this. Don't you get in the mood to do this or that or the other thing? Okay, there we go. Discard all that there. Now, you're probably wondering why I have this word hunt. And it's simple. We're gonna hunt for words. <laughs> okay, we got American black, uh, well, well, why don't we we won't do that one let's see we'll take this word these words okay time to relax I guess I should have did that those words. <laughs> Okay, we're going to take these. You could do the puzzle, but don't scratch out um, the words because that's what we're get, doing with. Molly, shush, shush, shush. Molly, shush. Okay, I'll use this number 15. You probably could use the word large, but we're not doing that right now. Okay, we're going to take bait. Uh, carbonate, whatever these are. Huh. How about estate, fate, freight, gate, uh, gate, and great. We'll do these ones. I'm sorry, I'm, I don't know a lot of words and how to pronounce different things. I'm very sorry about that. I'm going to take these words. Of course, we can look on what sides on this one. Well, should have did that before we cut them. <laughs> okay, we got this one. What we're doing is making templates, not templates, uh, per se. Um, Alright, there's great. Let me see these. Okay. Cut this down a little bit. Let me 
can take some of your papers that you used. There. I keep forgetting to take this glue sticks to church with me on Sundays. Last Sunday, I mean, this coming Sunday will be our pastor's last day. And then he'll be going to another church. He's kind of excited, but worried at the same time. Because he's going to miss the people he got close to. But he figures he's going to bring other souls to the to God with this new church. And how do I do that? Okay. Then we'll take this word and put it on here. So when we put our um our words or um little phrases or whatever up on uh cards and stuff, we have a word to stand out. Like, great. So, let's do another word. A state. <laughs> so, I have, oh, you can leave this one down. But remember, you want a space between there because you're going to be cutting that apart. And let's see. Some of these words, I don't know why you'd be using them on a card or whatever. Sounds like I gotta oil my chair. I miss my dad and I miss my mom. I miss them so much. I told my better half that he should enjoy the moments that he has with his mother and he kept rolling his eyes at me. Now he knows what I'm talking about. And he's pissed when I say that. I mean, sorry, upset about that. Okay. Well, the other day I met my neighbor. He seems some different. Um, not a friendly kind of person, I don't think. But she smelled like booze. So, I'm guessing she drinks. Unless it was just happens to be drinking that day kind of thing. It happens. Oh, here's what I was looking for the other day. <laughs> Tea for two. Okay. Um, cut this, down, this number down. Oh, 
um, crafting, uh, scrapbook, no, scrap, um, craft with me, I think it is, uh, she loves numbers. I think that's interesting. Now, you could do two different things here. After you fill these up with your words, numbers, and whatever have you, you can either cut them out uh, singly and then put in a bag. And, and please, please uh, uh, name, put, when you put them in a the bag, say what they are. Like, words, uh, certain words for, uh, cards or something like that. Or, you can, after you did this, and you know this is ready to go, uh, you can take it to the, um, copy machine and copy them out, and then cut them out. This way you have a base there for them, but um, it's not as big and bulky kind of thing when you're mailing uh, your stuff. Um, I've learned that the hard way, but I don't know if anybody had told anybody that, but I just thought that was interesting to know. Okay. So, um, I guess this is going to be kind of short. But that's what I got for you today. Ooh, here we go. New, New Zealand, Portugal, Spain. Uh, try on. Yeah, yeah. I want to go someplace that I can't pronounce. No, because that's going to happen. And so... That or you can put them all here to like that and, and then cut them out. But it's going to be kind of more hard. It's going to be a little difficult. But there you go. There's um, my video thought for the day. Um, and if you find a lot of words that you like. Like you liked um, all these different countries. Like I said, go get... And copy the words instead of sitting there typing, 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 typing. You can just copy your words and put them, fix them up like this, um, and then copy them on a copy machine and put them away. And make sure they're well marked because you know the, like I said, this box here I have. And it's, it's this, if I could, I just finished them up. Uh, be giving a little uh, weight to the mail. And guess what I heard the other day? The mail is going up. Surprise, surprise. Like, right? Anyway, reach for the stars, jump over the moon, land on your feet, and thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. And hey, thanks for the new subscribers. That made my day. It really did. And uh, y'all be good now. God bless.